It wasn't that I was going out trying to say, oh, I want to find a way to cure cancer. Not at all. That wasn't in my head at all. I wanted to understand how T cells worked. Without him, without my oncologist, I mean, my kids wouldn't be here. My husband wouldn't have a wife. So it's kind of amazing that because of this one man, that all of that, for me, happened. And I know that I'm just one person, but for me, it's and for my family, it's life-changing. Jim Allison's discovery has changed the course of thousands of people's lives and led to a paradigm shift in how some cancers are treated. My father desperately, I think, wanted me to be a doctor. He was, he was the old type of country doctor, you know, that did house calls. And, and so I started college as pre-med, but they had several courses, organic chemistry in particular, where it was really taught in a way to eliminate people who couldn't memorize, regurgitate a lot of facts. And I didn't like that very much. And when I started thinking about it, the responsibility to be a, a doctor is really pretty incredible. I mean, you need to be right. When you're a scientist, you're supposed to be wrong, and you can be wrong all the time, so long as you're right every now and then. What, what I've learned since then, if you're not wrong most of the time, you're probably not out there like you ought to be. In college, Allison got interested in T cells. Because there are these cells that go around your body and can detect virus infection or cancer or the things your body's never seen before, had never existed in the universe before. When they detect an invader, T cells go from scouts into warriors. And what Allison discovered, which would be so useful for treating cancer, is that the T cells don't just turn on, they also turn off by way of a protein called CTLA4. Well, I mean, you gotta stop T cells here because they, they'll go from a few hundred to tens of millions in several days, you know, and you can't let that go on. Allison wondered if this natural braking system prevented our immune system from defeating cancer. He thought, what if you could disable the brakes long enough to give the T cells a shot against a tumor? Just take CTLA-4 out of the picture, and then you can let the T cells go as long as you want. Well, that was the basis for the idea. The idea was not particularly well received. A lot of people had, had just given up on, on the idea that you could use the immune system to catch because there have been so many failures. Even in immunology, some of my friends that you know were very renowned, they wanted to insult me in public. They'd say, Jim's a tumor immunologist, you know, and snigger. It took years to convince a pharmaceutical company to develop the drug. But when the clinical trial results came out, they were dramatic. Moved the median survival over by four months. No other drug had moved median survival at all. But even more promising, long-term survival improved. After four years, over 20% of patients treated with the drug were alive. None in the control group had survived. That had really never happened before. It's insane is what it is. I mean, I had tumors in my lungs, in my brain at one point. Sharon Belvin was diagnosed with cancer just before she was to get married. She was 22. She tried chemo and radiation. Nothing had worked. That's when her oncologist, Jed Walchok, started her in a clinical trial for Allison's drug. Over the next couple of months, my tumors kept getting smaller and smaller and smaller until my doctor finally said that there was no more evidence of disease. I was in my office and I got a call from um, a clinician I work with, Jed Walchok, and he called and said, Jim, come over to the outpatient clinic. I said, hey man, I'm busy. You know, he said, just come over here. Dr. Walchuk says, well, you know, the guy that kind of invented this whole thing is here. So she grabbed me, hugged me, and squeezed I me. I said, I'm sorry, but I just got to hug you. Everybody started crying. He saved my life. I got an email from her, the photo of her first baby. And then a couple of years later, her second baby. There's no words to describe what it, what it feels like. Oh, I'm trying not to get all emotional here. <laughs> what it feels like when you have handed someone back their life. It must be very gratifying. Yep. I wish it worked more than 22%. So. so I was a basic scientist, but I still think 
you can't be so pure that you don't think about what benefits may come to people from your science. And if you could do your basic science and then sit back every now and then and say, hmm, I wonder if this could do something, then you ought, you ought to do that.